Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome Super C motorhome that is dollar for dollar, one of the best values on the market today. This is a 2021 Nexus Wraith model 32W. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Wraith and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Nexus Wraith uh, and I'm just excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! How's it going? It's going good. Matt, I don't remember the last time we did a raid. The last time we were in Virginia, Andrea, because really? we don't sell them in Florida. Yep. Oh my gosh, that was a while ago, too. And it's nice to be back, and the weather is beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful today, you guys. I think it's like 75. Yes, we brought the Florida warm weather up with us. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Nexus Wraith 32W. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet 5 inch. This is the Wraith. It is a step above the Triumph, a step below the Ghost. Nice middle spot. Right up there we have a nice fiberglass front brawl, fully molded, seams underneath right there. Very nice feature. This is powered on a big old diesel, Andrea. This is the International MV chassis. Let me pop this hood. First, we do have side cameras there. Left side, right side, in reverse. And then check this out. Oh, gotta get the other side. Look at this engine, wow. Andrea. This is awesome. This is a Cummins engine, international chassis. It's a Cummins 6.7 liter. 300 horsepower with a wheelbase of 229 inches and 660 foot-pounds of torque, Andrea. Wow, that's beautiful. That's America right there. That is. And then this is great because it's a light hood, easy to work on and operate. And what's great is that it is on the international chassis in Andrea. What's so great about the international chassis? That it can be worked on almost anywhere. Yes, yes. I think it's like loves and pilots and everything. Yes. Has the three hour guarantee. Super nice. Right here, Andrea, look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals, I love those. 225-70R22.5 with the AccuRide rims. I absolutely love that. Right up here, look at this. We have a beautiful big mirror right there. Very nice. Your fuel tank's right there and you have the big old step getting into it. Very nice, big, awesome. Coming on down the side here, you can see the beautiful full body paint job. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. It's a little awning. Now, because this is a Nexus motorhome, Andrea, they do use a steel case, a high strength, low alloy steel. It is 72% stronger, which means 72% safer. Also, they do use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Tiny. Yep. Okay. Nice power awning with LED lights. We do have frameless windows throughout this motorhome. And then let's check out this storage. Okay, not storage. That's where your batteries go. All right. Very nice. This is going to be your propane right there. And Andrea, we have all the propane tank sizes. Bing! Tank sizes, lengths, widths, specs, everything right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. Right here, we do have power on the outside. And then here's your water heater. And then this is gonna be storage. Okay. Very nice storage right there. Coming on down the side here. We're gonna have more storage here. I love how it's held up by struts. Yes, I wish it went up a little bit more though. Yeah, I actually wish it swung sideways now that I think about it. And then more storage there. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Oh, dang, Nabbit, no ladder to get oh, up on the roof. Oh, darn it. We do have a 10,000 pound hitch 
This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds with 1,000 pounds of vertical weight. Backup camera right there. And the roof is a one-piece fiberglass roof, Andrea. Awesome. I like their sign there. What, the rate? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks neat. And then right over here, this is more storage with your 50 amp power cord right there. Here is your wet bay. Yes, your wet bay. Uh, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Um, city water connection, potable water fill. Potable. And then over here, storage. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then storage. Uh, I bet it's not. Oh, it's the generator. Yes, that's your Onan QD 8000 diesel generator. And then here and here, there's going to be a little bit more of this and that. And then your blinker fluid. No, not blinker fluid. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you fill up your DEF, Andrea. I just wanted to see if you were going to catch it. Yes, yes. Sometimes you do say it. I do, I do. <laughs> well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Go on in. All right, Skippy. Cargo carrying capacity. Oh, it's not on there. Uh-uh. It might be on the passenger door. Okay, slide is in. Do our little turnaround here. Okay, so look at all this walkway with the slide Big in. Big walkway. Look at that. Have no problem at all getting to the bed. You can still use that when the slide's in and the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. And Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor, My Waggle. If you guys haven't heard the news, my waggle is an rv digital temperature thermostat okay so what you do you just plug it into your rv and it sends you notifications via email and text message if your rv loses power or if it gets too hot or cold in your rv so the whole point is if you have pets and you bring them camping with you you can't go to every restaurant with them so you leave them in the rv this will let you know, This will it's a monitoring system that we hope you never have to use. It will make you aware if it gets too hot or cold or if your RV loses power via text message so you know, dinner time's over, cut it, yep. I will take a to-go bag because no, I gotta go no. get back. I would just be dropping cash and running if oh, it was me. Oh, <laughs> like not even finishing your meal? No, no, if we it gotta was me, get to, I gotta go. Gotta get to yeah. Yuna. So, if you guys are interested in my waggle, they've partnered up with Matt's RV Reviews with an exclusive offer. All you have to do is use our link below. Yes, make sure you protect those fur babies, everybody. Yes, ma'am. Now, Andrea, this is a chassis, ain't it? It is. Feels like you're in a truck. You have to do it some justice here. Oh, yeah. Got to turn that engine on. Uh-oh. Battery's dead. Dang nabbit, that's part of the problem with it being on a dealership slot. It's not bad though, it roars, it purrs, it's humming, it's num 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 num. You have the international chassis. Again, 300 horsepower, a lot of people are gonna be like, eh, that's low, but trust me, for this motor home, it's a moving and a grooving. And I believe it has the screen that does come out. Yes, and that's where you're able to see your cameras yes. as well. Oh, the air horn doesn't work. Um, Andrea. Oh, it doesn't have an air horn. Doesn't have the air horn. Are, are they still working on that? Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but I do know that it doesn't have the air horn. I, I forgot it doesn't have the air horn. And we will bring that up a little bit later in yes. the video. But this is very comfortable. It, it does look yes. comfortable, isn't it? I like it up here. This is cool. I could see you and I in something like this and just yeah. trucking down the road. Yeah. And, you know, the pets are all happy yep. and it's just a smooth ride. And people better stay out of our way yes. in this beast. You it, know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, because we will get an air horn added on. Oh, well, yeah. And, and this just a <laughs> trucker chassis. It's bad and awesome. It's so good, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? And Power we windows. we got a bunk over the cab yes, here. Ma yes, ma'am. Now, this is only good for one person, okay? And I believe it holds 500 pounds. I don't see a sticker, um, but I, I believe that's what it does. I believe it does. does. Yep. That's what it used to be. It, it's the TV. What? 
Is that so, a new place? Yeah, yeah. The TV's not over the cab anymore. Oh, it's right here. I like that. It does swing out. You know, very good placement and position. I like that and a lot. Everything. Yeah, very nice. And then right here, you even have a recliner right here that you can move around a little, a little solo chair by itself. It's pretty nice. Cool. And then over here in the living room area, you do have cabinetry right here. Very nice. Okay. Held up by struts. I love that. And then right here, you have a window. How do you feel about the balances? A lot better than, than what it used to be. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very neutral. You have your privacy the blinds right there. The sofa's cute, though. Yeah, nice, comfortable sofa. And this is actually a tri-cushion sofa. Oh, good. Or no, not tri-cushion. Two-cushion, tri-fold. So it comes all the way out to make an adult-sized wow. bed. Wow, that's awesome. And then over here in the dinette. You might want to turn that light fixture on. Yes. Okay. This is one of the most comfortable dinettes out there. We do have more storage above. Six drawers all the way. Very nice. One thing I do like about Nexus is it's, it's kind of cool is their storage under here. They have locks. Yes. Keys. Yes, just locks. like that. Very yeah. nice. So you, you can put some valuables in there and lock yes. it up. Very nice. And it has it on both sides. With seat belts. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. It's solid surface. Very pretty. Yep, with cup holders right there. And then this is just some of the stuff that Nexus likes to preach um, with what makes them special and, and different. And you guys, Nexus is a great company. You know, their owners are very involved with everything and the customers as well. So yes. I can't sing them enough praises. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is... Two hundred fourteen thousand three hundred eighty-three dollars MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we do have it twenty-five percent off to one sixty-one nine ninety-eight. That is a phenomenal sale price. But Andrea, you know we sell a ton of Nexus. Yes. And you know we can get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact tab with three selections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will hook you up with the best price. If you have questions about this motorhome, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you ASAP. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter what tab anybody selects. There's one thing that every tab has in common. They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, I... Go let's ahead. continue. <laughs> Hang I, on. Let's... I, I want to show. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue the video. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I want to show this. Okay, Matt. People may want to know why that Nexus emblem is there. Well, tell us. Okay, so behind there, uh, there is a mechanism where you can literally manually close your slide if it breaks on you. Yes, yes. That You know what I call that? Being proactive and not reactive. Exactly. Okay, so look, here's the kitchen. And I, I think we forgot this. Also, I did forget to mention the auto leveling down there. All right, so here's some cabinets, you guys, with adjustable shelves. Love that. They have a blinds here with yes, the window. Yes, ma'am. We got a leap pad. The leap pad of power. I'm sorry, I always do that. Yes, always you do. say leap pad. <laughs> It's from when my girls were little, you know, uh -huh. to play with the leap pads. And we got a residential style sink. Very nice. Nice big sink. Extension here. here. And I, I can't do it with the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, it was the other side. But okay. No, was it? Yep. Now I got winterizing solution on me. These things are heavy. Yep. That's how you can tell they're good quality. Alright. Alright. Perfect. We got a cabinet under here for your trash can. Did you see that? Yes. And we have two drawers. Thank you. Thank you. We have a microwave. Okay, that's a gray stone. And a three burner cooktop Dometic. Yes, ma'am. Propane and an oven. Very nice. 
and a residential Whirlpool refrigerator. That is awesome. Yes, it is. You didn't mention the backsplash. Do you love it, hate it, or feel neutral about it? Um, I feel neutral about it. I feel neutral about it as well. Okay. Yep. And Thanks here's the pantry. I like this because you still have adjustable shelves in here, which is great. Mm-hmm. I so, concur. So, great job on that. All right. Oh, man, I see a radius shower. Your favorite kinds. Not my favorite. There's winterization in there. I know it's going to be tight. I know it's going to be okay, small. Let me get a at, good angle here. Yep. At least it's tall, which is good. It is. And it's one of those things. These super seas, they're normally 37, 40 feet, 45 feet long. I can tell here from yep. the magnet on the door, this is where you get your privacy. So let's open this. Yep. It just so it just is what it is with the size of this bathroom. And then we need to turn the light on. Light. Oh, the light is on. Yes, oh, ma'am. Okay. Here's your cabinet. medicine cabinet here. Very nice for all your medicines. You have your sink there and storage underneath there. Awesome. It's now time for the toilet test. On a pedestal. Uh-oh, swinging feet. <laughs> okay, so you said pedestal, uh -huh. but, but that does not qualify as the four Ps. Unfortunately, because the elevation of this, this is not a prime pooping position. But it's, but it is a pedestal pooping position. <laughs> and it's definitely doable. It's doable, yeah, for sure. Okay, coming into the master bedroom, we have an accordion door right here. Yes, ma'am. And then I'm gonna go straight over here to the wardrobe. Very nice. One wardrobe, and then look at these six massive drawers. Big drawers. That's crazy. Wow. We got the TV up here with storage behind. Okay, yep. And then we also have more oh, wow. storage. You got your other wardrobe over here. Yes, ma'am. And then we have a, I think this is a queen size bed. Yes. Hold on, Matt. Is it? Yes, queen size yeah, it bed. it is a queen size bed. With a headboard. Are you sure? Now I don't know. Well, it's, it's, if it's a queen or a king, it could be a queen. <laughs> queen size bed, because we're not too sure. Um, uh, I think it's a king, actually. Okay, if yeah. you say it's a king, it's, it's a king. A king. We do got storage right there. It's we, the sleep deprivation. Yes. We got the headboard there with the two windows. And then you got your little light switches right there. Pretty cool. Let's see if there's any storage underneath. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, no storage no underneath. Storage. But I do like the lights on the floor. Yes. You guys can see those. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Nexus Wraith. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. Can I go? Oh, first. I'm just right here. So there you go. You go Guys, first. Guys, I'm not a fan of accordion doors. Okay. Womp womp. Womp womp. It is what it is, it is you know. It is what it is. Again, Sorry. a lot of it has to do with the length. Yes. And a lot of it's going to have to do with dislike number two. Yes. Dislike number Definitely. two, Andrea, it's going to be the the whole bathroom. I, you know, I don't like the radius shower yeah. and pooping on a pedestal does not, <laughs> does not replace the primeness okay. of it. For me being a shorter guy, I just do not like that. So that's number two. And then I do have a number three. Okay. Number three, Andrea, is I do not like how these doors swing up. Yes. Because now you have to go underneath yes. and get it done. You know, that's I a big agree. pain in the butt. It would have been better if the doors were on side hinges. Absolutely. You hear that, Mr. Lint? Dave Lint? <laughs> <laughs> Great, so that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love. Oh, wait. We do have to add a fourth dislike. Okay. The air horn. No air horn. Yes, we you must can't... have an air horn. Dang on it. You can't have a Cummins diesel without having an air horn. It is a, uh, what's the word? You cannot have that engine and not have an air horn. It's, it's Do a bears live in cities? It's a disgrace. Do you raise, <laughs> do you raise a herd of pigs in your, in your suburban house? No, you raise it on a farm. And if you have a comment, you better have an air horn. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so, so that's three things we dislike about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I like 
the sofa. I know it seems silly, but it's really stylish in here. Yeah. Um, it's a lot better than some of the sofas I've seen in some of the motorhomes. Yep. It has a more modern style. And, and the, the fact that mm, it goes out to be a trifold. You just literally took yeah, the words out of my mouth. It's very cute. You're 100% it's right about cute. that. That is great. So that's number one. Number two. Oh, we got some gust of winds coming in. Let's recheck this awning. Number two. I'm going to say, Matt, the TV placement is great. Wow. The TV placement right here is yes, great yes. because it's no longer over there in the bunk and you don't have to worry about people kicking it or whatever. It actually comes out and gives you a better angle. Yes. And you know, that that was a big deal and a lot of manufacturers are still doing right, that. Right, I know. And it's just as easy to do it the way that they did it and I love that. Okay. So I do have a number three, it's gonna be outside. All right. Come on now. So number three, Andrea, I am going to say, it's gonna be a triple combo. Uh -huh. As those sidewalls, steel cage construction, oh, which is high strength, low alloy, 72% stronger, which means 72% safer. And Andrea, we're gonna end it with this awesome international chassis. This is the MV chassis, and again, it doesn't have an air horn, no big deal, we can add an air horn. But the fact that you get this for a price that is comparable to some top of the line gas motor homes yeah makes it a great value and a great option i agree well andrea that's it that's the review thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this motor home please call text send us an email it is matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that is my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a Super C motorhome, in a few seconds, we're going to put its competitors right here and here. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Nexus, they are big fans. Yes. And the owners watch the videos and they read the comments, you guys. So if we want to change things, we need to make sure we're commenting. And I'm pretty sure that that TV was a change that we implemented. Yeah, I remember it always so they, in the box. So they listen, y'all. Yes, they do. Um, You guys, take take advantage of the My Waggle for your furry babies. Yes. Make sure you protect them and take, take advantage of the code down at the bottom of the description uh, an, ex a little, uh, an exclusive deal yes, for matt's rv reviews definitely i hope you guys are safe and well thanks for watching thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and andrea we'll, we'll see, see you next time, time.